Today I will show you how to take those floral bouquets you receive as gifts and turn them into a quick and simple base arrangement, an elegantly embellished hat, and a classic wrist corsage. Let's get started. Begin by putting the bouquets in fresh water. I like to add the flower food the bouquet came with and a couple small drops of disinfectant bleach to the water to discourage bacteria. If you don't have flower food, you can use a teaspoon or so of sugar in the water. I was always taught to cut fresh flower stems underwater at an angle with sharp scissors so that it sends a surge of water up the stem to the bloom. Also, please make sure to remove all the leaves that will be below the water line as they will rot and cause the water to become cloudy from bacteria. I've always just kind of looked for balance and harmony. So here you'll see me moving them around to achieve that, stepping back and looking at them and putting them back under the water to cut them again if necessary. As far as height, I'm just trying to achieve subtle layering. The vase I am using is a rustic one and I would like the arrangement to match that style. Almost like all these flowers were growing together somewhere in the wild. And I'm happy with the final result. Change your water every few days. Give the stems another short snip underwater again and you can make your arrangement last for a week or more. Bored with your flowers sitting in a vase? Why not wear them instead? I got some ribbon to put around the band of my hat and I'm going to attach it with double-sided tape so that it's easy to remove later. All the tutorials I found on the internet involved using floral wire and floral tape, but I found this method to be cumbersome and potentially damaging to my hat. I used these headbands that you can get at the drugstore or beauty supply for around a dollar, and they work surprisingly well. Just make sure that you use one that fits snug around the band like this one. I bought some pipe cleaners just in case there were any flowers that needed extra reinforcement because of their weight, but the band was all I needed and it held up great. I cut the stems to a length I could weave in and out of the little holes. The band held them in so well, trying to take them out and reposition them in different spots was more difficult than I expected. So be sure to work the design out a little in your head before making your final placements. And here is the finished product. As you can see, the flowers aren't going anywhere. I wore it the entire day and got a ton of compliments. To get started on the wrist corsage, you are going to need a piece of heavy cardstock or lightweight cardboard. I used some leftover packaging from something I had bought. Cut a size to fit comfortably on your arm. Then use a glue gun to cover it with ribbon. By the way, I got this glue gun for $3 at the dollar store, so if you don't own one yourself and you need to pick one up, you can do so pretty inexpensively. Attach the cover piece to the middle of another long length of ribbon. You can determine how long the length needs to be by tying it in a bow around your wrist beforehand. Here is one I made earlier for another corsage I plan to make. These could be made ahead of time so that you have them on hand whenever inspiration strikes. When arranging the flowers on the corsage, again, my goal is balance. As in the previous tutorials, work the design out a bit before committing with the glue. I am limited today by the varieties that came in my bouquet, but if you are able to select different varieties yourself, you can be even more creative. If your roses are a few days old and starting to brown, you can always gently peel away the outer petals. What you want to do is arrange them so that the top layer helps to camouflage any rough ends underneath. The 
Chris Corsages look beautiful modeled by my daughter, Jeremy. Great for a special occasion or whenever you are in the mood to feel pretty or special. Of course, for the women and girls in my household, that's every day and rightfully so. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content. It's soul season.